Many, many years ago, in a land very far away from our little home of Aotearoa, Europe was a land of war-stricken poverty, where food was rationed, the sounds of bombs ringing off in the far distance was a frequent playground sound, and women and men fought in a war between the strong and powerful German and British empires. The people of Australia and New Zealand declared their support to the British Empire. If the old country is at war, then so are we, shouted Australia's Prime Minister Joseph Cook. All men, young and old, pledged their commitment to the war with great excitement. A group of Australian and New Zealand troops rallied together to form the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps, the ANZACs. This group of soldiers travelled by boat, and on the 25th of April 1915, they arrived on a coastal beach on the Gallipoli Peninsula in Turkey, where they stormed the sandy shores, armed and ready to fight, in aid of the British Empire. The Anzacs were met by a strong and fit army of Turks. They fought to keep hold of their territory. So many men on both sides of the war lost their lives while fiercely fighting for their countries. After eight months of fighting, with more Anzac troops being dropped off to join the battle, and with still no success, the British government called for the evacuation of the Anzacs. The Anzac troops were lucky to withdraw during the night without casualties. Many men were lost during this battle, while fighting with honour and wearing their country's name. This is how we have come to have a public holiday called Anzac Day on the 25th of April. On Anzac Day, we remember our fallen soldiers those many years ago on that sandy peninsula. We remember the survivors and all the men and women who fought selflessly in battle for their countries. We remember also the families at home who lost their loved ones. Lest we forget.